Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make the front post and back post double crochet and a bonus tutorial how to make a single crochet foundation row without chaining. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm um, going to go ahead and get started, but I did want to say that I will also be doing this for beginners, so I will be going slowly in the beginning with the slip knot and the chain and with the double crochet. So if you already know how to do those, if you know how to slip knot, chain and double crochet, you can go ahead and continue on and skip this part. But for my beginners, we're going to continue. So I have my category 4 and I'm going to do a slip knot, and the way that I make my slip knots is I wrap my yarn around my finger and hold it, secure it, bring the bottom yarn over the top yarn, and then grab that other yarn and pull through and make a loop. Make sure you make your beginning uh, yarn when you first wrap your yarn around your finger. Make sure you make it a little longer than what I have here. So go ahead and insert your hook. And pull your main yarn to get it to come together. So now you wrap it the way you want, how comfortable you wrap it. This is how I do it. So now we're going to make our chain. So to make your chain, you grab your hook and yarn over and pull through and make your chain. That's one. Yarn over means to go under your yarn and bring your hook around and pull through and just do this several times I'm going to do this 15 times because I want to have an um, an even number of front post and back post double crochets so this is how you make your chain yarn over and make sure when you yarn over and pulling through your loop that you are twisting your hook if you do not twist your hook, it's just going to simply give you a hard time pulling through. So you want to make sure that you twist your hook. So I'm going to continue on making my stitches and I'll be back when I have 15 chains. Beginners, if you haven't got it quite yet, just go ahead and turn back and keep practicing. I'll be back. Okay, so I have my <clears throat> 15 chains here and I'm going to go ahead and begin. So now with your front post and back post double crochet, you can make an any amount of chains that you want. You just want to make sure that if you're going to count your first chain as a double crochet, you want to make 12, you want to make an even number of stitches. So we're going to begin. We're going to start off with a double crochet and you want to skip this first stitch here. So we're going to yarn over skip that first stitch this is going to make 14 stitches and go into the next stitch so now for my beginners remember a yarn over is yarning around bringing your hook around your yarn and you can hold it with your thumb or whatever finger is comfortable for you you're going to skip that stitch there and go right into that next stitch with a double crochet so insert your hook yarn over and pull up your loop yarn over and pull through then you will have three loops on your hook so now you're going to yarn over again remember it's bringing your hook around your yarn and yarn over and pull through two remember to twist your hook that's your first level and then go ahead and yarn over again and pull through your loop again remember to twist your hook and pull through <laughs> And pull through your double crochet and there is your double crochet so I am going to count this as a stitch it's always going to be a double crochet when I get to this point so now we're going to continue and make another row of double crochets because your front post and back post double crochets have to have a foundation so let's do another double crochet and again for my novice and people who know how to do a double crochet just go ahead and skip for my beginners let's do that again yarn over go into your stitch you're not going to skip stitches so this is your double crochet stitch here that you made 
and now we're going to go into the next stitch so put your yarn into your hook into the yarn yarn over and pull up a loop remember twist your hook yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and that's how you make your double crochet let's do that one more time yarn over go into your stitch yarn over and pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so i'm going to continue making my double crochets across and i'll meet you at the end okay <clears throat> excuse me so i have my 15 double crochets going all the way across we're going to go ahead and chain two now the standard for a double crochet is you chain three but i don't like when it sticks out when it has that little bump on the side so when you chain two it's a lot smoother edge so go ahead and turn your work now we're going to begin with our front post and back post double crochets so your first stitch as i said before is always going to be a double crochet so go ahead and yarn over your chain does not count as a stitch go into that first stitch and for my beginners the way you can tell what your stitch is is if you look at the very top of your stitch you'll see there's like a v here and right in between that v in the middle you're going to put your hook so go ahead and yarn over go into that stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two remember to twist your hook as you're pulling through your loops so now the next stitch is going to be our first front post double crochet and basically we're going to go in between the stitches the back of the stitch so go ahead and yarn over this is a front post double crochet so you're going to take your hook go into the stitch between the first and the second stitch so go in there and then bring your hook back out between the second and the third stitch so you're going behind that stitch let me show you what it looks like on the other side you're going behind that stitch and then go ahead and yarn over and grab your hook i mean your yarn and pull through the back oops see it it could be a bit tricky sometimes but you'll get it so then let's do that again yarn over and pull through and then go ahead and make your double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that's your front post double crochet as you begin to make your rows going up it will um you'll see more detail so now we're going to do a back post double crochet and it's just the opposite so you're going to yarn over and you can even turn your work if you need to to see what it is you're doing we're going right into this next stitch so you're going to yarn over and turn your work just a little bit or just bring your hook to the back like that between those stitches there see there's a front post double crochet and we're right in between that and then go back through between the other stitches see now you have that double crochet in there go ahead and yarn over and pull through and now make your double crochet your back post double crochet and that's how you do that so your next one is a front post double crochet so just do that again yarn over go into the front and right out through the side and yarn over and pull up a loop and pull through and yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so now let's do a back loop double crochet yarn over go into that back loop once you get used to it you won't even have to turn your work around go ahead back into the next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so just keep doing that all the way across for my beginners if you haven't quite gotten it yet just go ahead and rewind back again i'm going to do a few more stitches before i move on to the next step 
So yarn over. Now we're doing a front post double crochet. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Remember to twist your hook. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. And let's do that back double crochet one more time. Into the back. Out the side. And yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So I'm going to continue this pattern and I will be back when I get right here close to the end. Okay, so I am close to the end and I've just done a front post double crochet. I'm going to go into the next stitch with a back post double crochet. Yarn over, go into that back stitch and make your double crochet. That was a back post double crochet. So now we're at the very last stitch and our last stitch is a double crochet. Now, sometimes it's kind of hard to see, but like I said earlier, you're going to look for that V and that's when you know that is your last stitch. So go in between both of those, in between the V all the way through both those loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's your front post and back post double crochet. Now it doesn't look like very much, but we're going to do another row so you can see some detail. So go ahead and chain two and turn your work. Now, just like before, we're going to start off with a double crochet. So put a double crochet into that first stitch. And then go into the next one. So as you can see, the next stitch is a front post double crochet because we've flipped it over now. So now we're like basically on the correct side now. When we started, we were on the wrong side. So now we're going to continue and go ahead and yarn over and make that front double front post double crochet right here in between the stitch here. It's going to be a lot easier to get to because it's already formed. So yarn over, go into your stitch and just go straight through and yarn over and pull up a loop and make your double crochet. Then the same thing for a back post double crochet, which is here, yarn over and go right into that back post double crochet. And you do how it's comfortable for you, however it is you want to do it. And then let's go ahead to the next one, which is a front post double crochet. And just continue doing that all the way across. Okay. Next stitch is a back post double crochet. Oops. Sometimes it can slip, but once you get used to making your stitches, you can, it, it'll be a lot faster. And it's slipping for me because I'm going kind of slow. I'm used to going faster. But let's continue and there's a front post double crochet in the next one so go ahead and make your double crochet your front post double crochet so i'm going to continue making my way along this is what it looks like so far if you have gotten it um you can go ahead and continue but for my beginners i'm going to go ahead and meet you right before the last stitch okay so we're on our last two stitches and this one is a back post double crochet right here so i'm going to yarn over go into the stitch that's what that looks like from the back yarn over and pull up a loop and pull up a loop just means to bring your loop you bring the yarn through those loops through that loop rather and then yarn over and pull through two yarn over pull through two and now again our last stitch is a double crochet so go right in and make your double crochet. You don't worry about the chain on the side because it does not count as anything. It's just a chain just to give it um, an edge. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay. And if you want to, you can continue going. Um, but I am going to continue making this other video. I wanted to show you how to make a single foundation row without chaining. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with my yarn again. 
and we're going to go ahead and make this single crochet foundation roll without chaining for as long as you want and then fold it in half okay until you have a loop at the beginning so the way i uh normally do it is when i'm going to do this um single foundation um, row i just go ahead and fold it in half i give it a bit of a length you know i give it a bit of a length and then i just wrap it around myself until i'm at the point where i want to be the yarn that you want to be long is the piece that you're going to wrap around your hook this is the yarn. This is the piece that's going to make your single crochet foundation. This is just the um, extra yarn, you know, the, the tail. So you'll have a tail and then you will have the other yarn that makes, um, you have the other yarn that leads from your skein. Okay. So I'm not going to make it very long. I'm just going to make it pretty short. I'm going to go about, I don't know if that's about 12 inches. I don't know. I'm not good with math. But I'm going to make it long enough so that I can show you how to do this. So this is what I have. And that's how long it is right there. Okay. So let's begin. So now you want to go into that middle section and you want to make your slip knot. Just like you normally would. And then go ahead and insert your hook and pull that knot close. So now this right here is your tail. This is what's going to determine how long your single crochet row is, your foundation row. And this is the lead yarn, which is coming from your skein. So you want to go ahead and grab your lead yarn that's coming from your skein and wrap it the way you normally do. You want to grab that bottom yarn, that tail, and you're going to take your tail and you can hold it if you need to so that it doesn't move around just for security. And you're going to wrap that yarn around the hook only. Not around your yarn, your skein yarn, but towards the back of that loop. All right? Bring everything close. Get it in a comfortable position because you have to hold this piece down here. This is probably the hardest part of this um, making this row is making that first single crochet. So now we're going to yarn over and pull through both of your loops. And for my beginners, this is how you make a single crochet. Okay. So yarn over again, go into the back of the hook. Do not include that yarn. Go back of the hook. Go ahead and hold on to that bottom piece. Hold on to that first single crochet. Yarn over and go into and make your single crochet. Let's do that again. Yarn over and go in and make a single crochet. And you make it as long as you want to. That's why I said it's best to either use a measuring tape or measure yourself or the person that you're going to be making this for. Because your tail needs to be long enough to make enough single crochets. So let's do it again. Go ahead and grab that tail. Yarn over behind the hook yarn over and make a single crochet. So when I come back, I'm going to be at the end here and I'll show you what to do from there. But let's do that again on camera. Yarn over, put your uh, yarn in the back of that hook and yarn over and make your single crochet. And the more you do it, the faster you'll go because you'll be able to use both hands and grip that yarn on the bottom so that it does not twist and just keep making your single crochets across and so when I come back I'm going to be at the end and then I'm going to show you what to do from there okay so I'm at the end of the row and there are my single crochets here and again you can make as many as you want I don't know what I have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I have sixteen so I have 16. I still have a, a good length of a tail that I'm not worried that it's going to come out. So now what you want to do is if you're going to make your single crochet or double crochet or half double crochet, you just do it the way you normally would. So I'm just going to go in with a sim simple half double crochet. And for my beginners, for a half double crochet, I only chain one. Um, I think it's two for half double crochet. But again, I hate that bulk. 
So I'm just going to chain one. I'm going to yarn over and go right into my stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And with your half double crochet from my beginners, you'll have those three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops on your hook. And that's going to give you a half double crochet. So just do that all the way across. Now, if you didn't make your stitches too tight, your yarn should go right in there nice and easy. And yarn over and come back through. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of those hooks. So that's how you make your um, half double crochet for my beginners. And for my beginners and those who didn't know how to make a single cro crochet foundation row without chaining. And as you can also see, it's very springy. So if you want something, uh, if you're making a garment or something that you want to have a little bit of spring to it, it's much better to use this stitch than just a regular chain stitch, which tends to be a little tighter. So that is the end of our tutorial. Actually, I'm going to finish these half double crochets and then I'll come back. Okay, so this is what your half double crochet row looks like. Isn't that pretty? And then again, it's nice and springy. So if you're making a sweater, it has a lot of um, give to it and you can, it's very stretchy. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tai Handmade Creations. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Fly with the stars, sound free Party all day, every weekend Make it boom, boom to the beat Make it boom, boom, boom Boom, boom, boom Fly with the stars, sound free